Hi guys, tomorrow is going to be the first day of Fisex conference and I'm going to attend it. Also, I'll be recording a blog of my experience during the event so you can watch it later. See you tomorrow then! Today is the day and the first thing to do is my daily routine which consists of light and fast exercise to be ready in less than an hour. After taking a bath, I do my breakfast and this time I choose eggs with jam because I know I won't be eating a thing until 1 or 2 p.m. and I really don't want to be hungry during the event. Sooner I realize that I woke up way too earlier. Finally, when it's time to leave, I double check everything and I'm ready to go. This is how I begin my trip in Merida streets. Of course they're Merida's. But then I remember that I have to pick up Jesus and Josue because they seem to be taking the UP driver thing for real. And now I'm kinda there chuffy. Once more, I'm on my way to the 21st century and trust me, you don't want to be in the same car with those two. As you can see the whole place was full and it was a completely chaos. You couldn't even found your teachers, neither the rest of the class. So when you made it to find someone, it felt like you just found your missing brother. Eventually, teacher Ali put some order and she took us to the most amazingly useless innovation conference ever, where the speakers tag and say everything you need to know about selling a product, but technology. So we are here just waiting for the i6 innovation. And yeah, we were forced to stay there for at least 30 minutes, even though the real i6 event had already started and was literally next door. But hey, Upi has a reputation to hold, right? Well, of course that didn't last that much and we just leave. Sorry for the speaker, but I was really excited for the stands that I just couldn't wait. I mean, you just have to take a look of the place to understand what I'm saying. VR controlled drones, World Robotic Olympiad LEGO Mindstorms Elementary Competition Challenge. Here is also a cool design of a Mindstorm with a snake like movement. Of course, there have to be a pair of dancing robots. They were offering robotics classes and I was about to join. <laughs> This is Miss Nikte after gently asking her to say something for the blog. Here I was trying this VR experience and it was about the Earth and how it looks from the space. It also gave you some extra information about the moon and so. And in this one I was trying a game based on the Squid Game series. Later ended up trying like 3 more VR headset. You can tell that I really enjoy them. This stand was presenting a lot of different gadgets specialized on the 3D image recognition. As you can see, their phone detects a printed bidimensional image and can transform it into a 3-dimensional one, where you can also read extra information, as in this case the information is about the human body. This was one of my favorite parts because of the size of the drone. In this conference I get to meet Mauricio Villa whom really caught my attention and I do believe his was one of the best. Oye, una pregunta, este, ¿y cómo estuvo? Eh, muy padre, la verdad. Hablar inglés. ¿Te gustó? Sí. ¿Tuviste que pagar algo o desde el gobierno te pagamos tu avión, tu hospedaje y tus alimentos? No, todo, todo me apoyaron. Oye, y para poder ingresar al programa... Here you can see some cool stands.
enamoró. se enamoró de ti, güey. Ah, papá. Ay, papá, ya sé que voy a hacer el robot. For the end of the day, I went with my friends to get some food at Costco. Hi guys, this is me after finishing editing of the vlog. Now, my thoughts about the ASICs. was amazing, at least I like it. Uh, I already said this in the diary, but the feeling of being among people that also share my passions, that get excited when you see a robot doing whatever, or just enjoying a metaverse conference, was awesome for me. Uh, well, I'll be happy if I managed to show you some of my happiness with this blog, and if I didn't, I couldn't care less, for real. Well, thank you for watching and see you soon.